Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. The picture you see in front of you is uh, quite disturbing to me, and I want to thank uh, Tundra Pup here on Twitter for uh, bringing it to my attention. I mean, I know about fluoride, and I know that it's no good for babies. Um, many of you know that. I mean, just 15 years ago when my first child was born, I was specifically told by the doctor to not give him town water because the fluoride was no good. And so we'd, we used bottled water, which in hindsight may have been, you know, not great either, but certainly it's not fluoride. I want you to look in the bottom right-hand corner right here. Mix with formula, juice, and cereal. Fluoride added. Purified water for babies. This is slow genocide. This is a soft kill. There's no other way to to look at this. Uh, we know what fluoride does. And for any of you that still insist that fluoride is good for your kids, I want to show you just a couple of posts. From there, I want you to do more research because it's probably doing even more damage than I'm going to shed light on in this short little video. But if you don't wake up, we don't have a hope. And neither do these kids. And that's the point. First, this is from the Fluoride Action Network. Um, of all groups, infants are most vulnerable to fluoride toxicity. Due to their small size, infants receive up to 400% more fluoride per pound of body weight than adults consuming the same level of fluoride in the water. Not only do infants receive larger dose, they have an impaired ability to excrete fluoride through their kidneys. Healthy adults can excrete more than 50% of ingested fluoride dose. Infants, by contrast, can only excrete 15 to 20%. This leads to a greater buildup of fluoride in the body and may help explain why infants fed formula made with fluoridated water. Mix with formula. Sorry, I'm a little irritated right now. Um, lost my place. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, formula made with uh, fluoridated water suffer higher rates of dental fluoro uh, fluorosis, a discoloration of teeth caused by excessive fluoride ingested during childhood. Teeth are not the only tissue that can be affected. See, fluoride does affect your teeth, and when you're young, young or, I would have to assume, even older with, uh, you know, uh, enamel that isn't as strong, but we're all made a little differently. Some of us are real strong. Some of us, fluoride may not eat the teeth. But if you're a baby, and the doctors told me this when my kids were babies, that that little bit of fluoride in the town water would actually eat and pit their teeth. So, but you go to sleep and think, oh, that's only when they're babies. And miraculously, somehow, once you're an adult, nobody's teeth are affected by this. Um... It goes on not just when they're babies, okay? They're, they're enamel, and especially now with the lack of sunshine, everybody's, you know, between the chemtrails, blocking the sun, and everybody playing video games, and they're not getting the natural vitamin D, okay? And God knows what's really in the milk. Um, so we have to assume that fluoride would still be eating away at their teeth. And in fact, when I was at the dentist a couple months ago, a mom was in there with her oldest son of four children. He was five. She stated that he was the best brusher out of all the kids. And the doctor found one of his teeth that were beyond repair and may need to be pulled. At five years old, best brusher. Have to assume he got the most fluoride on those teeth. But anyway... Um, it's not just your teeth rotting out. Let's read on here because this is even more uh, disgusting as you learn. Teeth are not the only tissue that can be affected by fluoride exposing uh, exposure during infancy. A baby's uh, blood-brain barrier is not fully developed at birth, and this allows fluoride, a neurotoxin, greater access to the brain than in later periods in life. 
greater than later periods in life, but you see later periods in life, it is still affecting your brain, okay? Over 30 studies have associated elevated fluoride exposure with neurological impairment in children, which may in part be a result from fluoride's effect on the thyroid gland. And you think about the heavy fluoridation, now I think we're up to 70%, and all the other toxic, especially uh, radioactive particulates that also affect the thyroid gland. This is an easy way out for the nuclear industry, too. I could see that. Maybe I'm looking too far ahead. Maybe they're unrelated, just coincidental. But I want to make note of it anyway. In the light of the serious nature of these effects, the lack of the benefit of pre-eruptive ingestion of fluoride, basic precautionary principles strongly counsel against exposing infants to any fluoride. And I'll link you to this uh, so you can review this if you missed anything. And then we go over here to Harvard study finds fluoride lowers IQ. When you saw the title, slow genocide, soft kill. If you don't, or if you can't understand that when you lower humanity's IQ, that it is a soft kill. Because they will do things to destroy themselves. We see drug use going rampant. Is that because we're feeding our babies fluoride and their, their brains don't have the ability to pull themselves out of it. Now, I want you to understand that when I was growing up, we were very poor. And for many years of my life, um, we carried water from a natural spring. Or we got it from dug wells that were fed by natural springs. I didn't start drinking any town water till I was almost in my teens. And uh, I've been down that drug thing. That's why I was at the dentist, because years of you know, way back before I had kids of, of drug abuse and, and not taking care of myself, my teeth are in shambles now. But if you did what I did and you were born, you know, maybe you're in your 20s, you, your mouth would be destroyed. Um, I'm just saying, we see society keep going down and down and down. The way we treat each other. Look at, look at the emergencies that are happening and people are actually stabbing their fellow man for a little bit of fuel in their car. Or, or beating them up for a bigger TV at a few dollars cheaper at Walmart. Our brains don't have the capacity to, to pull us out of these situations, like killing someone or, 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 or doing drugs to an extent that you can't pull yourself out of it. You're working with a diminished capacity. Don't you think all these things are relative? It is a slow kill, a very slow kill. And fluoride helps a lot. Plus, if you add in there, you know, the passiveness that it creates, everything is fine. Think about that. Everything is fine. Okay, um, so this is the Harvard studies that show that um, it revert, uh, lowers your IQ. You will find studies out there that will also tell you fluoride, even at one part per 30,000, will damage your brain. And, see this here, this is one of the results of having fluoride in your body. You're much more able to suck in all that aluminum they're spraying on you in the weather modification. And any of you that want to rebut that, don't even go there. The Department of Justice is uh, the top client for the United States uh, at weathermodification.com. You can verify that yourself. It's all relative. It's slow genocide and a very soft kill. Links to what I showed you will be below. If you're on Twitter, go over there and uh, I'll link you to this. Go give Tundra Pup a follow and a thanks for the information. Much love. Many thanks. And I'll see you soon. You've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers.